everyone, welcome back to our 100 day project and look at my shiny new book. So these are the books that we got. Last time we weren't able to show you because we had covered them. So they are the Bee Paper Company Super Deluxe Mixed Media Books. And we are not sponsored. This is just the ones we bought. These at Delta Art Supply and we are not sponsored by them either. But this is the type of book we use and you guys saw what kind of stuff, especially that I put on these pages, and there was no seeping through nothing. So we're going to carry on with our 100-day challenge. Uh, today is day 58, and I saw this really pretty paper in the house. I love it. It's got a little bit of these flowers. It's not really gold, but kind of gold. I just thought it was so pretty. And I just want a really simple one to do my favorite quote for this book as it opens up. So that's my what I'm going to do. And Richard is outside filling up another garden bin. And I was going to work with him, but he's taking too long. So I'm going to start without him, but he'll be here soon. So I've got my paper cut already. And I'm just about to mount it down in Richard too. So he's going to work on his page. you know what you're going to do yet? Not too sure yet. Not yet? Okay, and there's a bowl of grapes. There's some of those for me? Yeah. Okay, yay. Thanks. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I've been just doing some background stuff here. I painted the edges white. I stamped around the with some pretty blue. You see those blue rings? And I stamped this wish stamp. It's probably hard to see on there, but it's down here. It's white and in blue. And then these things are molded with light molding butterflies. And, oh, one thing I wanted to tell you, really cool. I know that eyeshadow, and you know that gold, um, what do you call it? Like gold leafing and stuff? If you wet frosted eyeshadow that's metallic, it gives the same kind of looks. I was testing it on a piece of paper, because I bought, can you see it? I bought it at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to try that a little bit on this and just see what happens. I have these elements. They were actually in a fall making memories kit. They are not Christmas. They're fall. So I painted over them to to bring down some of the glitter, but I think they're so pretty and I want to use them. And so that's where I'm at right now. And there's Richard's River. What river is this? That's some river in Africa. You're going to find the name? Or no? I will. I'll find the name. Okay, so we're just carrying on here. So here's my finished page for our new book, page 58 out of 100. And it's very soft and very, you know, pretty. But I like it. And I don't know if I zoom in, you can see the molding there. So it's raised up. So if you could see it in person, you could see it better. And then I made a banner, and the banner has my favorite quote of all time on it. It's even engraved. I don't have my ring on it. It's on the inside of my ring. And it says, Doom Spiro Sparrow. And it means, while I breathe, I hope. And that is my mantra. While I breathe, I hope. So there is another one of those butterflies. And um, I made my banner first on paper. Then I cut it out and glued it on. And then I've got these pretty, pretty, I love them. Like in mixed with all of the stamping and the molding and then this and then these beautiful, beautiful roses. It just looks so pretty. And then the very final tiniest detail at the bottom it says, I hope. Love this page. Very pretty. And I did use a gold eyeshadow and I brought it in on the butterfly so you could see it a bit there. That's all this gold eyeshadow, Dollar Tree LA Colors metallic eyeshadow. So go grab some. And you can also buy it in the, there's a loose powder, a looser powder. It's like, like powder in metallic, but I just wanted to try these out first. So there is my page. Thank you for watching. And here's Richard. Hi, everyone. This is my finished page, and it's a river. Uh, flowing down some uh, river in Africa. I'm not too sure which one. But anyways, um, I just thought it was a really cool looking 
um, view, and uh, and so I with it I, I heard a, a speaker or a person talking about uh, things that happen to people in the beginning of their lives, and um, and some and how it turned out for the better. So his, his quote was, the best is the end of the matter than the beginning. So it's true sometimes that uh, things don't start off the way you want it to. And this river, again, looking at the beginning, starts off pretty rough. And then at the end, it turns into a wonderful place back there. So, um, yeah, that's my... That's my page for today. See you tomorrow.